Hi, in this video we're going to discuss the differences between the Dyson V8 and the Dyson V7. But first let's talk a little bit about the different Dyson V8 models. There's the Dyson V8 Animal and the Dyson V8 Absolute. Now it just so happens we have the V8 Absolute and we've laid it out here. And let's just walk through what you get when you buy your Dyson V8 Absolute. You get the V8 handheld component over there. You've got the wand. You get a, a wall mount. You get these three non-motorized tools. There's a crevice tool, a combo tool, and a dusting brush. You also get this mini motorized tool. It's got a motor here and a brush roll inside. This is the charging unit. You get the direct drive cleaner head. This is the guy you're going to be using on uh, carpet. And you get this soft roller cleaner head. This one is best on bare floors. Now, that's what you get when you buy a Dyson V8 Absolute. Now, were you to buy the Dyson V8 Animal, all we really need to do is take this soft roller cleaner head away. This is what you get with the Dyson V8 Animal. Now let's look at the V7. There are three popular models of V7. There's the V7 Absolute, the V7 Animal, and the V7 Motorhead. Just so happens we have the V7 Motorhead and we've got it laid out here. So what do you get with your V7 Motorhead? You get the handheld component there, you've got the wand, you've got the wall mount. You only get two non-motorized tools, the crevice tool and the combo tool. You get the charging unit, and you get this direct drive cleaner head. And again, this is the one we typically would use on carpet. Now, when you bump yourself up to the animal, you get two more tools. You get this uh, non-motorized tool, that's a dusting brush, and you get this mini motorized tool here. The one with the uh, motor and the brush roll. So that's the V7 animal. And when you move to the V7 Absolute, you now also get the soft roller cleaner head. So this here would make up the V7 Absolute. Both the V7 and the V8 have 21.6 volt 6 cell lithium ion batteries. However, the battery here on the V8 is larger. And you can see that if I put these up together, you'll see that the unit on the right here, the V8, has the larger battery pack. Um, now, there are some different uh, specs between the two batteries. Your V7 here is 16.2 amps, 2100 milliamp hours, 46 watt hours. Your V8 battery, 18.5 amps, 2800 milliamp hours, and 65 watt hours. So, it's a bigger battery. And actually, you will notice that when you go to recharge this V8 battery, to get a full charge on this battery takes five hours, whereas on the V7 it takes three and a half hours. One other thing related to the battery is the charging light. The V7 you have one, on the V8 you have three. And you know, it's quite nice to have three. Three will tell you how much charge is left on that battery when you're using the vacuum. It'll also tell you how much more charging there is to do when you're charging up the vacuum. Now a quick look at those charging lights. This is the V7 here. If I turn it on, you'll see that it only had the one charging light. Over here is the uh, V8. Now if I turn the V8 on, you'll notice that only one of those three lights came on, essentially telling you that the battery pack only has about a third of a charge left. So in that last clip, we established that the vacuums have two different battery sizes, and that's going to affect the runtime depending on whether you're in low power mode or max power mode. And we should mention first, I guess, that the machines do have two power modes. There is low and there is max, and there's a switch on top of the handheld component that allows you to go between the two, and it's the same here on the V7. Now we've put together a table here of run times, and um, in blue is the official run time. That's the kind of thing coming from the manufacturer. In purple below it is our tested run times. We'll talk about that in a second. First, let's talk about the official numbers. So in low power mode, with a motorized head, like the ones you see on the end of the vacuums here, the V7 is designed to give you about 20 minutes of run time. Your V8, about 25 minutes of run time. Remember, it's got the larger battery. The V7 in max power mode, about six minutes of run time. And the V8, about seven minutes of run time. Now, we did test 
tests. We basically made sure that the filters were clean. We used this particular cleaner head, the direct drive cleaner head, on medium pile carpet. Uh, we made sure the batteries were fully charged, taped the trigger down, waited till the machine ran out completely, had a stopwatch, came up with these numbers here. The V7, low power mode, 23 minutes and 28 seconds. So it lasted 3 minutes and 28 seconds longer than the official runtime, and that's good. The V8 also lasted longer, 27 minutes and 28 seconds. V7 in max power mode, 6 minutes and 22 seconds, and the V8 in max power mode, 7 minutes and 45 seconds. The V7 and the V8 both have two power modes, and in each power mode they produce different levels of suction. The V7 in low power mode produces 21 air watts of suction, while the V8 in low power mode produces 28 air watts of suction. The V7 in max power mode produces 100 air watts of suction, while the V8 in max power mode produces 115 air watts of suction. In terms of filtration, let's look at the V8 first. The V8 has two filters. We've got the pre-motor filter here in the center of the cyclone. It comes out quite easy, rinsable in water. When that thing's completely dry, you just pop it back in. Now, there's also a post-motor filter on the back here, and this is a HEPA filter. This one's also rinsable in water, and when it's dry, you just twist it back on. Now, both of these filters uh, show up in the uh, V8 Animal and the V8 Absolute. Over here, if we bring across the V7, now remember we've got the V7 motor head here. The motor head has the pre-motor filter here in the center of the cyclones. This one is rinsable in water. On the back here though, there's no HEPA filter. Now we talked to Dyson about this and we were told that the V7 motor head only has the one filter and no HEPA. The V7 Animal also has the HEPA filter on the back, and the V7 Absolute does not have this HEPA filter on the back. In terms of dust canisters, the V7 and V8 are pretty much the same. They both have 0.14 gallon dust canisters, and they both have the hygienic dirt emptying system. And I'll just show you how that system works. Uh, this is the V7. You've got a red pull tab here. When you pull that up, this whole assembly comes out of the dust canister. Um, that's really handy because it tends to scrape away dust and debris and even hair that get tangled around this assembly. And when it's pulled up, it often just comes right out. And if it doesn't come out, there's room in there to get your hand in. Now you just slam that back down and close it up like that. Now it's the same on the V8. Now we happen to have the older V6 here. You can see that this has a smaller dust canister and it doesn't have that pull tab. In order to empty this, you open up the bottom door like that. The problem is this assembly is still in there and if there's anything tangled up in there, it's difficult to get at or you may have to take off the um, dust container here to get at it. So the new system on the V7 and V8, the dirt, uh, hygienic dirt emptying system is pretty good. We did some noise level tests on both vacuum cleaners. We have a digital noise level meter, and it was placed three feet in front of the cleaner heads of both machines, and the machines were running low power mode and max power mode, and we collected peak decibels, and they're in this table here. So the V7 in low power mode produced 65.0 decibels, the V8 62.2, so the V8 is quieter in low power mode than the V7. Now the V7 in max power mode produced 74.0 decibels, while the V8 produced 71.7, again quieter than the V7. Now even though the V7 numbers here are larger than the V8, we wouldn't necessarily call the V7 a loud vacuum cleaner. We've done cleaning tests for both vacuums on carpet and on bare floors, but let's talk carpet first. What we've done is create a debris, and that debris consists of finely ground Fruit Loops, very powdery substance. We've got flax seeds, we've got chili flakes, and even larger green peas. We would consider this kind of a small to medium sized debris. The debris was laid out in a five and a half foot path on the low pile carpet, and we did 10 second passes with each machine. Here's an example. Here are the results of that carpet cleaning test. The V7 in low power mode was giving us 99.29% pickup. The V8 in low power mode, 98.17%.
actually less than the V7, despite the fact that the V8 has more suction. We did that test three times. In every instance, the V7 had better pickup than the V8. A little strange. Now let's look at max power mode. The V7 in max power mode, 99.56% pickup. V8, 99.27. This is a little bit closer. V7 again, just a tiny bit better. So what exactly was going on there? You know, we started to look at the two vacuums to try to figure out if we've maybe done something wrong or what it could be. And we noticed that the cleaner heads, these direct drive cleaner heads, are actually a little bit different. The V8 uh, direct drive cleaner head here is larger. It's got a larger head than the V7 direct drive cleaner head. We can see if we put them up, this is the V7 here, put them up against one another, you'll notice that the V8 is larger. It's got a larger suction channel. It's got even a larger brush roll. Um, some of the bristles are a little longer, the black bristles. Um, so that, that's a bit strange. Well, here's an idea. Let's take that V8 cleaner head, put it on the V7 and redo the test. So we've got the V8 cleaner head here, put it on the V7, clicks into place, doesn't run. Well, there's no electrical connection. Okay. Well, how about the V7 cleaner head onto the V8? This is the smaller V7 cleaner head, and it does run. Okay, so we redid the test with the V7 cleaner head on the V8. That's this one here. We got 99.31%. Well, that's pretty much the same as the V7 certainly is better than the V8 with its own cleaner head. So that tells us in our test that that V7 motorized head is what was making the difference. We've also done a test with larger debris. In this case, the larger debris was uh, Fruit Loops. Now we found that both the V8 and the V7, of course, using their own cleaner head, their pickup of the large debris was pretty much the same. Now we're gonna cut a clip in here, and this clip is from the written review on our website, and it shows us doing this test on a black carpet runner. Now, the reason we did that on the black carpet runner is that the debris shows up really well. We've also done the test on the low pile carpet with pretty much the same results. How about V8 versus V7 with large debris? They're both in low power mode. We've also done a cleaning test on smooth flooring, and in this case, it's tile. It's the same kind of test as we did on carpet. We've got the same materials, the ground fruit loops, the chili flakes, the flax seeds, and the green peas. They're laid out in a line, and each machine, the V7 and the V8, was run over it in about a 10 second pass. And in each case, we used this soft roller cleaner head because it really does work so much better on bare flooring. Now, the results of those tests are here in this table. We found the V7 in low power mode with the soft roller cleaner head picked up 99.93%. Pretty much everything. The V8 in low power mode with the soft roller cleaner head, 99.88%. Now, I don't think you can read anything into the difference between these two numbers. They're both very high and very much the same. So I think the V7 and V8 pickup in this case is pretty much identical. Um, these numbers are so high we didn't even bother with max power. Um, we're also just going to cut in a quick clip so you can see one of those 10 second passes here. In terms of weight, the V8 is the heavier of the two vacuums, but not by very much. The V8 Absolute and the V8 Animal both weigh 5.75 pounds. Now, the V7 Motorhead is 5.45 pounds, and the V7 Animal and V7 Absolute are even lower at 5.3 pounds. Costs can be difficult to provide as they tend to vary from retail outlet to retail outlet and they also often go down over time. At least one would hope they go down over time. But we've taken a stab at it here. We see the V7 motor head. We figure you should be able to find that for around 250. V7 animal 300 and V7 absolute 350. Well, there is no V8 motor head. Um, V8 animal 300 to 400, there's quite a range here, and the V8 Absolute 400 to 500. 
We've noticed um, numbers, frankly, all over the place right now for the V7 and V8, so it really does pay to shop around. So that's a lot of information. But at the end of the day, which vacuum do you buy? Well, let's first start by talking about carpet. You saw in our test for large debris, the V7 and the V8 perform pretty much the same. But with the small to medium sized debris on our low pile carpet, the V7 actually outperformed the V8. So if you have a similar environment, you may want to consider the V7 motor head, or if you want those extra tools, maybe the V7 animal. Really the only reason to, to move to, to the V8 might be for that longer run time. Now if you're dealing predominantly or maybe entirely with bare floors, you're going to want this soft roller cleaner head and this comes with the absolute versions of each of these vacuums. For the v, so the V7 absolute or the V8 absolute. Now we found on bare floors that both machines perform pretty much the same. And the V8 is going to give you longer run times in both a low power mode and max power mode. So on bare floors, we kind of like the V8. Now, bear in mind that it's a little more expensive. Also, if you're using the handheld component a lot, a lot of people use that around the house or even in vehicle interiors. The V8, again, has uh, more suction power, and that you're going to notice that more with a non-motorized tool, like a crevice tool or something. So it's got more suction power in low power mode and in max power mode, and it's got a longer run time. But it is a little bit heavier. And, um, you know, depending on uh, who you are or your arm strength, you may or may not notice that. At any rate, I hope that's been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.